Hi Hylians, Nico is here and I am going to show you the newest and by new I mean not really new but this is the most efficient way to farm for dragon parts from this dragon Farouche, Farosh, Farosh, whatever his name is. If you've done this before I'll get right into it and I will be explaining what makes this most efficient compared to other methods. And if you're newer, if you haven't done this before, hopefully I'll answer some of your questions after I show everyone what's going on. We're gonna go down to the Farron region and we're gonna go all the way down to this little spring. And I like to put a fire right at this star. I like to go here on this left side because I'll always have a visual of the horn. The right side sometimes the dragon's facing you so you can't really see the horn when it comes up. I like to put the fire right at this corner, this little grass part. I like to be far away from the tree, so the tree's not in the way when I fly up. And also, of course, it has to be on the tree, so the fire can stay lit when it rains. I will fly up and I'll shoot for a horn. Boom, there it is. And now I'll wait until the horn flies. The moment it flies, then I could sit till morning. And the horn will freeze in space apparently for the next 24 hours. Then you'll see it fly. You light the fire, fly up, and then you repeat the process. Now, as you can see, I'll show you here, you do not have to pick them up right away. But again, you do have to wait until you see it fly. So I'll just collect the three of these just to show you that they are still there. Since we're really close to the dragon, you'll shoot it right away. Unlike the cave, all the way in the back there, you're kind of far away and you don't know where these parts are going to drop. I like to do it here because there's only four places they're going to drop. So two on this side and two on the other side. This pile is and where the first pile was before. Random facts, you could do it at night. But morning is the first option on the menu, so I choose morning. Also, here I go on the right side just because. And this is why you cannot sit right away after you shoot it. You have to wait till it flies. Now you'll see it, it'll drop right in the water, which you might think that's fine, so what? But I guess it doesn't read it as flying away from the dragon, so you can't grab it. That's why you cannot grab it. And one reason you might want a horn is that any dish that has a bonus, the horn allows it to last 30 minutes. Which is awesome. There he goes, he's happy. Yay. And if you want to sell the parts, the scale goes for 150, the claw 180, the fang 250, and the horn 300. This is probably the fastest way to get rupees in this game. I'll sell the 15 that I got. And I got 4,500 rupees. And this is all the farming methods put together into one very effective, most efficient method for farming this dragon. And this next part is for the newer players. If you have any questions, hopefully I'll answer them. The other fire method. Flint, wood, metal weapon, attack. The other method. Wood, red choo-choo jelly, and you will also become on fire. In order to not get electrocuted, you could wear the Thunder Helm by completing all the Gerudo side quests, or you could wear the Rubber Suit by completing some Farron Region side quests. The other option is to make some elixirs, but I do not do that. You also need a scale for this shrine. You just drop the scale right at the little square and this door will open up for that shrine. Lastly, you need dragon parts to upgrade equipment like this champion's tunic, barbarian armor, the amiibo required fierce tidy boots, and the cap of the wild. And there it is. I hope you liked the video. I hope you see why this is most efficient. I really just shaved off a few seconds for convenience in collecting the dragon parts. I hope I answered some new player questions and if you have some more, feel free to leave a comment 
If you're gonna click like for just one video today, I hope it's mine. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you next time.